All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our artificial intelligence course and we're still doing our learning module. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, last night, if you recall, the last thing we went over was the K nearest neighbor classification, and tonight we're just going to build it for that topic. So, what are then the drawbacks of K nearest neighbor classification? There are a couple. One might be an approach at least. It could be fairly slow to have to go through and have to measure the distance between a point for every single one of the points in a graph. Now, there are ways of trying to get around that. There are data structures that could help to make it more quickly to be able to find these neighbors. There are also techniques that we could use to try and prune some of this data, remove some of the data points, so that we are only left with the relevant data points just to make it a little more easy. But ultimately, what we would like to do is come up with another way of trying to do this classification. One way of trying to do the classification was looking at what are the neighboring points. But another way might be to try and look at all of the data and see if we can come up with some decision boundary, some boundary that will separate the rainy days from the not rainy days. And in the case of two dimensions, we can do that by drawing a line, for example. So what might, so we might try to do is just find lines, some separator that divides the rainy days from the not rainy days. We are now trying a different approach in contrast with the nearest neighbor approach, which just looked at local data around the endpoint data point we cared about. Now, what we are doing is trying to use a technique known as linear regression to find some sort of line that will separate the rainy days from the not rainy days. And I did draw a graph to the best of my ability to represent that. So here are our not rainy days represented by the X's. And here are our rainy days represented by the O's. And this is our line that separates the two halves. Now, sometimes it will actually be possible to come up with some line that perfectly separates all of the rainy days from the not rainy days. Realistically, though, Many data structures won't have a perfectly straight line. Oftentimes, data is messy and there are outliers. There's a random noise that happens inside of a particular system. And what we would like to do is still be able to figure out what a line might look like. So in practice, the data will not always be linearly separable. When, linear separable, when linearly separable refers to some data where we could just draw a line and separate the two halves perfectly. Now, that's what we went over tonight. And we did go over a few more topics, but I'm not going to dive into those tonight. But I will keep you posted every step of the way. As usual, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.